Good Wednesday morning, friends, or afternoon, or evening, um, or even middle of the night, wherever this may find you. This is our Wednesday time to pause together, perhaps drink your coffee or your tea together with me, and to share our faith together. For those I don't know, I'm Reverend Jennifer Finley, our Momentum and Discipleship Pastor at First UMC here in Kirksville. And uh, some of you may know I was on vacation last week, um, some beautiful time away spent with a friend, um, just hanging out, enjoying life together, and it was good to be away for a few days, but it is also so very good to be back doing this together with you, to be back in this rhythm of asking myself and asking you and asking us as a community, where have we seen God this week? Where have we sensed God moving and working in our lives and in our world? Um, where has God met us is another way of asking that. And God met me in a couple of unexpected words. They were breathe and peace. Uh, while I was away, I was staying with a good friend in Omaha, and uh, her guest room is wonderfully comfortable, and it was wonderful to be there. Um, but I found myself one night restless. I woke up in the middle of the night and couldn't settle back down, couldn't let go of the worries in my mind, and I started to instinctively do what I think many of us do, even though we know it's not our wisest choice. I, uh, I reached for my phone instinctively, despite the fact that I had told myself that looking at my phone once again wasn't going to make the worry or the anxiety go away. In fact, it might make it worse. And so I laid there for a few minutes, thinking I just wanted to rest and relax. And these two words came to me, breathe peace. Now, I'm not sure where those words came from. They entered into my mind and my heart really unbidden. Perhaps it was because in worship we've been exploring the work of the Holy Spirit in our hearts and our minds and our souls. Wherever they came from, God met me in those words, and as I said those to myself, or perhaps as God said them to me, and to my heart, and to my worries, and to my fears, breathe peace, I fell back asleep. And when I woke up the next morning, all of the things that had been causing that worry, and that fear, and that sadness, they weren't gone, but God was present. I was able to enjoy the day with a night that was much more rested than if I had reached for my phone and scrolled over and over again. God met me in these two words, breathe and peace, and continues to meet me, has continued to meet me as I've come back home, as a work week has started, as thoughts and plans have started for the summer, in my own life and in the life of our faith communities, I've heard those words, breathe peace. And they've settled me, and God has met me. And so I offer them to you as a practice, perhaps as a prayer practice, if you need something to try that's quick in the moment, simply a deep breath in, breathe, and a deep breath out, peace. It might be God breathing peace into you, or it might be you breathing peace into others. Or perhaps those aren't the words that you need in this moment. We trust that the Holy Spirit speaks to our spirits in lots of different kinds of ways. And so these next few weeks of this summer, as we enter into this time um, that is characteristically different, than any other season. Um, our time together on Wednesdays are going to be shaped by some words. You all know me, know that I love words, but I also love exploring with you where God meets us in these. And so these are a few words from a book I've shared before, Broken Wide Whole, Prayers for Daily Living by Suzanne Vinson. 
And we're going to use these as some structure for our time on Wednesdays for the next several weeks. This is called a word liturgy. Refuge. Find your refuge in safe spaces of comfort and trust. Comfort. Find comfort in your own skin. Awaken. Awaken to the love that lives within and surrounds you. Plant. Be rooted in fertile spaces and give yourself room to grow. Seek. Live your adventure with open eyes and an open heart. Tend. Cultivate love and wholeness with tender hands and hearts. Explore. Embody spaces of gratitude and wholeness. Wonder. Open to the deep yes and sparkling warmth of wonder. Show up. Be your faithful best, fully present to who you are and who you are becoming. Share. Spread joy, love, and hope as you share your story. Encircle. Gather your tribe and enrich one another's lives with tender beauty. Dwell. Live a life you love. Be well within. So we're going to explore one of those words each week for the next several weeks and allow God's spirit to dwell within us, to allow these words and what they represent to be a prayer. And so my prayer for you, friends, this week, is that you may take a deep breath in and breathe peace. Be well, my friends, and I'll see you here next week. Amen.